I think the opportunities are immense. Um, they are different by the different countries that make up the region, but I see kind of a renewed focus on not more, but better. And it's been a long time since we've heard not more, just better, and taking the time to do quality work means more opportunity for architects and engineers, interior designers and planners. Here locally, uh, one of my favorite projects that we've been involved with for years is the Mall of the Emirates. Um, familiar with the project, it's an opportunity for us to kind of showcase a lot of what we do as a company worldwide. Retail is a big focus for us, I, one of the top ranked retail design firms and so uh, because of the Mall of the Emirates, a lot of our work is retail um, throughout the region. We also have been focusing a lot on hospitality and now currently looking at work, workplace uh, kinds of environments and particularly a few of the projects on the boards today are live, work, play kinds of places which actually, in my humble opinion, are a little unique to the region. I think there are three. Uh, we talked about it during uh, one of the panels which is uh, the speed of which uh, uh, we're, we're asked to do the work. Um, I think the second is certainly the ability to um, uh, have a handle on construction costs um, and as things are improving construction costs are increasing and it's hard to get a, 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 a good reading on what the cost will be while you're doing the design to make sure things are in alignment. And I think third is uh, salaries and, and finding quality people. There is a war for talent. Not just talent, but great talent. Very hard to find, very expensive, and uh, I think that those three kind of are the challenges we're seeing today. I think the trend comes back to one of my earlier points about not more, but better. Uh, clients taking the time to figure out how to do it better, uh, different, uh, infuse more quality. Um, and I think that's impacting a lot of things, whether it's retail where it's more uh, client focused, um, hospitality where it's more guest centric, um, but really looking at the business model behind it, understanding that, infusing it with quality to distinguish themselves from their competitors. And all of that I think is very good for the design profession. A very large part, very important part. Uh, while we work in 25 countries, um, our work here in the, in the Middle East, North Africa, is probably our fastest growing region. Um, and while places like China get, make a lot of headlines, it's the work in the Middle East and North Africa that really are leveraging the talent and the experience we gain all over the world and bringing it to the region. Our clients are, are asking, in some cases demanding, that we take what we're learning in Europe, in Asia, in North America and bringing it to the projects here. And not everywhere in the world are you hearing that. I think that's a great sign for the maturity of the market here and the maturity of the clients. Diversity in all cases is wonderful. I think we're in the people business. Our professional services are people. Our clients are people. And the more our firms can reflect our clients or our clients' clients, I think it makes us better. So diversity in, in terms of, of everything, it makes us better. And I actually think that's one of the advantages of, of a, maybe a larger firm like DLR Group 50 years young, um, we've learned those lessons. We've allowed ourselves to actually be much more inclusive and actually it affords us the luxury to go out and actively search for more women, uh, young people to join our organizations and be a part of the leadership, not, not just um, uh, entering into our business but being an active leader in our business. Wow, uh, I can't imagine doing anything else. If, if I were, became a uh, multimillionaire overnight, that would just mean I could focus more on what I love, which is design. I think uh, 
a creative outlet could be a painter, but that's a two-dimensional field. You could be a sculptor and allowed to walk around what you produce, but as an architect, you get to come inside and experience it. It's nothing better. Why would anyone want to be anything else? I'm enjoying it immensely, learning a lot. It's wonderful that I, you know, come here to Dubai and um, I see people that I haven't seen in a while. It's uh, making new friends and getting more acquainted with people that uh, I've known for a long time. Uh, there are very few events like this that kind of bring, bring new friends and old friends together, so I applaud the effort. I think we have to always be students of lifelong learning. Um, the minute we assume we know it all, uh, we have lost. And so an opportunity like this to come and learn and, and have discussions um, I think are wonderful. I, I applaud the fact that there's about an equal amount of, of, of panels and the opportunities to have the conversations in between the sessions and, and over a cup of coffee to kind of further explore some of the topics. I, I think it's a very healthy mix. Absolutely, I hope I'm invited back.